What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two stories for you, no questions. So let's get into it. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Flip 5 and some official, official, official information coming out about these two phones. Now, we know that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is not seemingly going to be a big upgrade in the Z Flip 5. One of the biggest upgrades to it is that outside display. It'll now be a lot larger than it previously was, that new cover display. But what is those, what do those two phones have in common that is officially official about these phones? Well, TMRO did a blog post on Samsung's website and TMRO, you can see right here, is in president and head of mobile experience business at Samsung. He has expanded his responsibilities as head of Samsung, Samsung's MX business to lead our corporate design center. My career as an engineer taught me that the most sublime designs are intertwined with technological innovation. But Basically what he's coming on to say is that they've raised the standards of foldable smartphone ergonomics. A difference of a millimeter in the device's thickness may not sound like a big change, but every gram and millimeter in a foldable device requires an engineer breakthrough. It demands craftsmanship with passion. When done well, the benefit to users is huge. That's why we've innovated to make our latest foldables slimmer and lighter than our previous generations. Now, that's not terribly exciting to me. I wouldn't, when, at this point with what I want with a foldable phone, trust me, I would love, I, I, that's great, but it's not what me personally and I personally want. I've said it many times, I want bigger displays, especially on the outside of that new Samsung, of the new Samsung foldables, which we're not gonna get. The inside display, I wouldn't mind if it's bigger. It doesn't have to be, but I wouldn't mind it. We've also, I want better cameras, um, better battery life, I want all of that stuff. Those are like very important and better, uh, more constant performance. I want it to be a speed demon all the time. I don't want it to slow down. I want it to be feeling like the fastest phone on the market. And some of those things haven't always been the best for the Z Fold 4. Maybe in the foldable game, maybe up to the top, but not definitely not the, the best at all times. So it really comes down to Okay, cool, you're making it thinner and lighter, but give us something that people want. You've kept the same design for basically the, the whole generation, whole lifespan of this phone. It doesn't look all that different in a lot of ways versus the original Galaxy Fold. We're now five generations in, and again, it barely looks different than that. So it's kind of a turnoff that, that they haven't really changed that much. They're making it thinner and lighter, and they're minimally improving things, but it's nothing massive over the years. You, you, point out one massive thing you could say okay they added s-pen support great they added it uh they added water resistance great they added it but these again these aren't things that will change the user experience a little bit the s-pen will but in general you know I, you want to be able to not have to open that phone up all the time to fully enjoy it so that's my main point on that but i mean we'll get there with the fold six most likely but uh this generation not so much and our last story is about the galaxy tab s9 if you remember the s9 series is supposed to be water resistant well a new video has leaked on reddit i'll link it down below if you want to watch it i'm not going to post it though uh, basically what it talks about and shows is a video it looks like they're i think they're in korea and it shows these guys outside of their store with a galaxy tab s9 in hand pouring water over it showing that it's water resistant and that's i that's actually a great thing to have in a tablet it's not amazing it's not a, a breakthrough feature you definitely want to buy it but if you have kids and you get this tablet you're like okay it's one less thing i have to be concerned with if they drop it in the toilet or pour water on it or juice or something like that it should be pretty much protected with the water resistance package on there but um yeah it's it's not too bad you know adding that the the extra feature in there um the, the tablets in general i mean if you really think about like what they personally need to add at this point it's just like I don't know, maybe get better and better performance, especially to play more AAA games. Um, but I don't know, I feel like tablets are very, very mature at this point, especially on the Samsung side. I, um, Samsung still, in my eyes, makes the best tablets on the Android side. Um, let me know what you guys think. Who makes the best tablets in general? Is it iPads or Galaxy tablets or OnePlus tablets? Is somebody else? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Put a hashtag, put the word question, ask your question. We'll answer it tomorrow's video. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.